Welcome to the Lesbian News. This week we're talking about every movie and TV show that's coming out in May that's going to be featuring women loving women, lesbians, bisexuals, queer women, whatever you want to label it. If they're women loving women and they're featured in TV or movies, we're talking about them today. Oh, fuck, that's so gay. So there's a lot of shows that people have been waiting for a really long time to see again. Hacks, The Wild, and there's also some shows, Grey's Anatomy, Station 19, that are going to be wrapping for the season. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to start out talking about Grey's and Station 19 since they're going to be wrapping soon. And Station 19 has actually wrapped for the season. They have finished filming and they are going to be airing their finale little bit before Grey's because Grey's is actually going to have a two-hour finale that's going to air on May 26th and Station 19 will air their finale the week before on May 19th. So there's really six episodes left of Grey's but it's five weeks because they're going to air both the last two episodes back to back. It's going to be interesting where they leave everything for the season because I feel like there's a lot of storylines that are up in the air and also just how the audience is feeling about a lot of this stuff because I know I've talked about it on my channel a lot about the Maya and Karina stuff and most people aren't really happy about it. So let me know in the comments what you think like what do you think is gonna be the resolution for the season and also what's gonna happen with Kai and Amelia is Kai gonna come back for another season I hope so and how will they wrap up that whole storyline or even bring Kai over to Seattle I don't know how much sense that would make but I guess Meredith will maybe choose this like hybrid position because she can't leave Seattle but I also think they've built this other storyline up so it wouldn't make sense to drop it completely either. Both shows are back next week on the 5th of May so make sure you've tuned in. Next up is one of my new favorite shows and that is the HBO Max series Hacks. If you haven't seen the first season of this show, you have a little bit of time to catch up before the second season drops on May 12th. And I cannot recommend this show enough. It's, you know, Emmy Award winning and it's actually about a bisexual writer. She's Gen Z and she basically tweets this inappropriate joke that she thinks was like edgy and she gets fired from her TV writing gig and she has to go out to Las Vegas and work for this female comedian who is a little bit older and you know she's very wealthy and been doing this for a very long time and she thinks that she's kind of above writing for this comedian so it basically is them getting to know each other and working together and it is one of the funniest shows that I've seen in the last 10 years it's brilliant and the main character is bisexual so it's it's just hilarious and I really cannot recommend it enough so make sure you catch up on that before the season comes out on HBO Max on May 12th. Next up is a show I know a lot of people have been waiting on. There's been a pretty decent sized break and that is Amazon Prime series The Wilds. So The Wilds is about a group of girls that are in a plane crash and end up on an island. Sounds pretty similar to Yellow Jackets I'm sure some people are thinking but it's a really great series and it was recommended to me a lot through my subscribers so I know a lot of you guys watch it already and I'm sure everyone cannot wait for it to come out on Amazon Prime on May 6th. I'm sure anyone who is a Marvel fan knows that next month the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse movie is out in cinemas and I love Marvel. I'm really looking forward to the movie coming out, especially the whole multiverse angle. I love that. And there actually is going to be a queer character featured. Now, 
it's Disney and they have these queer characters featured, but you know, they'll only give them literally like 10 seconds of screen time. And I did read an article that Saudi Arabia said they wanted Disney or requested Disney to snip out these 12 seconds of LGBTQ content or mentions. And I just always think if it's, if it's 12 seconds that can be snipped out, your movie wasn't very LGBTQ friendly or progressive or anything because if it can be taken out in 12 seconds, like you really weren't doing anything. But they did refuse to to take it out, which I suppose is something because normally they do just take it out to make all the money from China and, you know, Saudi Arabia and all these other countries. So I, I'm not, you know, going in with huge expectations, but there is the character of America Chavez who is a lesbian in the comics and I've also heard that the character has two moms and, and this was one of the references. But regardless, I'm really looking forward to seeing the movie in cinemas on May 6th. Derry Girls is airing its third and final season. And I've talked about this show a little bit on my channel already, but they only have six episodes in a season. So we're halfway through at this point and the show is amazing. It is hilarious. If you haven't been able to see it yet, it is on Netflix in the US and in the UK. The first season is on Netflix and the rest are on Channel 4 streaming platform, all four, which is free. So go and watch it if you haven't had the chance. It is a comedy set in the 90s in Northern Ireland during the Troubles. And that's actually where I'm from. So I just look at it and it, it is my family and it really cracks me up so much like I actually laugh out loud so you're missing out if you haven't seen it and it is pretty accessible so go and catch up and watch the finale on channel 4 on May 17th. Another homegrown show that I'm really looking forward to in May is Conversations with Friends. This show is a BBC show but it's going to be airing on Hulu in the US. Conversations with Friends is from the same people who made Normal People and it's based on the book of the same name by Sally Rooney that came out in 2017. Conversations with Friends is all about the complicated nature of modern relationships, their messiness, their ambiguity and the many forms of love and dependency. It follows two Dublin-based college students, Frances and her ex-girlfriend turned best friend, Bobby, as they become romantically intertwined with an older, sophisticated married couple in their 30s. This show also has done something magical, which I really don't understand why this doesn't happen more in 2022 with streaming platforms, but I'm really happy to say the show will be airing in the UK and the US on the same bloody day, May 15th, because why don't all these other shows do this when everybody can get spoiled? It's ridiculous. So well done, Conversations with Friends. It'll be airing on May 15th on BBC and in the US on Hulu. A couple of my other picks for this month that sadly don't feature any women loving women, the first being The Flight Attendant. I'm about to binge the second season as it just came out the other day. The Flight Attendant is a HBO Max show and it stars Kaylee Cuoco. The first season was amazing, so I have really high hopes for the second season and I hope it's just as good. So definitely check out the first season if you haven't. And on Netflix, this is an odd pick, but it does look really good. It's a documentary called Our Father, and it's about this fertility doctor who was regarded as one of the best fertility doctors. And he actually, when impregnating women, he wasn't using their husband or partners or, you know, picked sperm. He was using his own. And now, decades later, all these adults that are his children have found out about this. And the documentary is 
following the children and them discovering more and more siblings so i'm really looking forward to seeing it because it seems like such an interesting case our father is out on netflix on may 11th another pick for hbo max is the staircase which if you've seen netflix's real version real true crime version this is basically the manufactured acting version a lot of the reviews are saying it's pretty much a reenactment of the netflix one i know colin firth and tony collette are in this so i'm hoping it is good and the staircase will be out on hbo max on may 5th as you guys may have noticed i did drop the character today for the lesbian news so let me know if you prefer it this way you prefer it the other way and also i will start to do these the last week of every month for the next month with all the tv shows and movies so if there's something you would like mentioned for next month then make sure to leave it in the comments as always if you can like comment and subscribe it really really helps the channel and if you haven't checked out my second channel i've been covering fraud scams cults and all of that sort of stuff over there with some long form videos so if that's something that you're interested in my new channel is linked in the description box down below so thank you so much for watching and as always make sure to stay safe take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next one bye guys are you coming to do the news g Having a nap?